was trying to do the song, but I ended up sounding like Tarzan. <laughs> hey everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and welcome to another episode of Tomb Raider 2013. Last time, we hunted for food, got ourselves a bow, and a pry axe thing that we can't do anything with. This time. Hopefully we're gonna get out of this cave and figure out just where we are, all right? So, let's go. Ugh, where is the poop? And eh, not really, it's more like swamp water. Let's climb out of this hole. Speaking of holes, um, it really doesn't look like Laura has a hole in her gut, kind of. A actually, yeah, it does, because she only got hit with, like, a nail or something, so. But it doesn't really look like her shirt is actually torn. You know, it doesn't really look like that to me. I don't know. Hold on, let me find out. Sam. Southwest side. They'll need to follow the path to bid the line. Did you get that? Got it. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. You made it. Sam. Um, Thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right. Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful. Enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses. Me. Well, there's always some truth to myths. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds of the battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched. From the mountains to the sea and beyond. <sighs> but what happened to her? Sam? Matthias? Sam? Sam! Shit! <sighs> Sam! 
go. It's good to see you, little bird. I'm so glad you're here. Is Sam with you? She was with you. She was here with that man, Matthias. But I passed out. When I woke up, they were both gone. You girls should make a one and off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Rock? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Laura and meet up with Rock. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. You, you gonna be okay? Yes, I probably just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. Not so bad. Mm. Yes. All right, so let's, uh, burn this stuff. Salvage basically allows us to upgrade our weaponry. You need, we need to uh, upgrade our stuff before we can do that. I don't like the sound of that. Before we go up there, let's uh, detour a little bit because there is salvage to be had. Salvage is obviously pretty freaking important. Another shrine. What do you mean? An Who are they worshiping? What do you mean another shrine? This is the first, I'm pretty sure this is the first shrine we've come across. But whatever, as long as there is salvage to be had. Fascinating. I've seen these before. Oh. They must be ritualistic. This, this female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like us. Survivors. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes, well, let's hope we don't become murderers, too. See if you can work the other one. Something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. Let's see if I can fix this axe. <laughs> Let's talk to Dr. Whitman. There's something really interesting happening on this island, Laura. I don't know if I'd call it interesting. Hmm. Solar imagery. 
Some kind of sun worship? What do you make of the symbols? Sun pictograms? Some primitive stick figures? Hard to say. This could be a sign of some kind of cult worship. Or it could just as easily be cultural graffiti. I'll continue examining this. You should find a way to repair that axe so we can get this gate open. Each touch you. Darling, think. Think before filing those papers. I've I've sunk the last of my fortune into this expedition, but it's all going to come back tenfold. If, if you divorce me now, you won't see a penny of it. You've been with me since I was nothing. You know what I'm capable of achieving. I, I haven't lost my touch. I'm just at a low point right now, don't you see? I'm on to something here. Laura, you remember her, my, my young protege. She has real data to back up her theories, but she doesn't have my savvy. It's going to be my name on the discovery and my face in front of the cameras. If this all pans out, the show will be huge. If you want to leave me then, I, I promise I won't fight you, but please just wait on it. I, I can't have this kind of publicity muddling my image, please. Seems like a selfish prick. Why would survivors turn to worshipping ancient Japanese gods? How do I start? Okay. This is Lara Croft, an archaeologist from the Endurance, shipwrecked on an island in the Dragon's Triangle, east of Japan. This place is incredible. I've seen wrecks here that could date back centuries. We weren't the first, and I know we're not alone. Something isn't right about this place. If I don't get off this island, maybe someone will eventually find this. So now we have a stronger Pryax. Now we can upgrade stuff even more. So before we do that, because if we if we go over there and do the prying over there, we're not going to be able to come back here for quite some time. So before we do that, let's explore a little bit. Uh oh. Back up! Ow. Ow, dick. It's not too bad if we get hurt because we regen health when we're not taking damage. All right. Get all the savage or er, why did I say savage? <laughs> all the salvage we can. down to make the rigid mask express different emotions. Really? To make the rigid mask. How the... How do you see out of this? Oh, that is creepy looking. It almost kind of looks like the grudge. Ah, will you just go away? 
Lara's having a crisis of confidence. So, for her sake, I'll keep up a happy face. But something about this expedition has been making me nervous. I have butterflies in my stomach. As we sail closer to the Dragon's Triangle, I'm starting to feel nauseous. And this isn't the excited kind of nerves. What the hell is wrong with me? I should be excited. This trip is going to be awesome. I just need to shake off this feeling. Maybe I can convince Lara to take a break and have a drink with me. Is there more to this relationship? All right. So, yeah, let's see. I wonder if there's more that I haven't. There's definitely a lot in this game. There's a lot of exploring, a lot of small stuff to find, and lots of salvage to be had. Yes, I knew I was missing one. I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought that any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace, forgotten in time. Yep, so there's one more audiobook somewhere on this, in this area, so let's, I kind of want to see if I can find it. If I can't, if I can't find it, I'm going to cut to it, but. Whitman is such a drama queen. I can't believe the hissy fit he threw during the filler shoot. I mean, this is his job, right? It's not like he's offering anything to the actual research part of this expedition. Once we find Yamatai and the cameras are rolling, he'll calm down. He might be a total pain in the ass, but he knows how to work a scene. I just need to do my job and keep my cool. Lara doesn't know it, but I've been shooting footage of her too. I really want to make sure she gets the credit she deserves. And besides, she looks great on film. I think she's a natural. That's probably gonna drive Whitman out of his mind with jealousy. But by the time he finds out, we'll be enjoying the premiere in Telluride. All right. So with that, I think we can end the video off because uh, it's been going on for over 20 minutes. So next time on Tomb Raider 2013, we're gonna look for, oops, we're going to look for the rest of those uh, expedition, or the, crap, not the expedition, the, uh, whatever, those demon windshine things for experience. And uh, we are probably going to go up past that door thing that Whitman's at currently. So, I'll see you guys then.